Like many of you, I spend a lot of time on my computer reading and writing. We take our laptops and other handheld devices everywhere, right? And the world has become our, our mobile office. But unfortunately, the world's office has not yet come around to providing us all with customized, ergonomically correct computer stations and, and chairs. So in the meantime, we have to be mindful that we're not doing serious damage to our, our shoulders and neck and back, which can come from doing this. We kind of creep forward and start to hunch, right? Here's what to keep in mind when you're working at your desk. Sit up, or even on an airplane, you've got to sit up tall. Feet on the floor, directly under your knees. Your thighs should be at a right angle. You don't want your knees up here, okay? And your wrists, while you're working, should be neutral, not like this. This causes carpal tunnel syndrome, right? So let's do some exercises that are gonna be good for you if you tend to sit a lot and work like I do. So let's start by bringing our chin down toward your chest. And now move your chin down to the shoulder and the other shoulder. Imagine that you're making the smile on a smiley face with your chin as you move down across your chest from one shoulder to another. And don't let your shoulders come forward as you do it. It's a great way to, to stretch out your neck. Now bring your head back up and look to one side. Don't let your shoulders come forward, pull up tall. And as far as you can on the other side. And you want to do it again a few times. This is a great way to relieve stress and tension in your upper back and shoulders. And now to loosen up your shoulders, lift both shoulders up towards your ears and then roll them back and down and pinch the shoulder blades together. Up, back and down. Do this a few times, that should feel good. And now reverse it, up and forward and down. Do it as many times as you like. You'll feel better and better each time. Okay, and here's another one I have for you. It's a shoulder stretch. Hold one arm across your chest, bring the other arm underneath, and gently press your arm toward you. Don't bring that shoulder forward. Keep the shoulder back as you press your arm into your chest. Use the muscles in your upper back to keep your shoulder blade down. And now we have to do it to the other side, right? Press that shoulder across, keep the shoulder back, feel the nice stretch in the shoulder. That's good. Okay, now, let's try working the fingers. Let your arms hang down to your sides and move your fingers like you're playing the piano. You know, this is really, really good for your hands. It's good for arthritis. Don't do it if your fingers hurt, if your hands are inflamed, but it's good to keep these joints moving. And now do something else. Roll inward with your wrists. And you do that a few times and roll out. Good. And last but not least, especially if you type a lot on a regular keyboard, let me show you a great wrist stretch. Bend your arm, put pressure against these fingers, and now as you're pressing, straighten your arm out and feel the stretch in your wrists and your fingers and your arms. And then you repeat it to the other side. And press out. Good. Okay, and this is the last one, one of my favorites. Hands behind your head. Inhale. As you press your elbows back, hold it there. And now release forward. Feel the stretch in the upper back. And open. And forward. You know, if you're on an airplane and you do this, people might think you're really crazy. Or they might think you're really smart. How do you feel? Don't wait until you feel tension and tightness in your neck and shoulders. Do these things a few times every day. You'll see the difference.